Welcome back to the next step in the educator.com academic writing sessions. So, so far we've gone over a lot and now we're actually getting ready to the point where we're actually going to be organizing our essays together. So, what we're working with specifically for this lesson is we've already gotten past the introduction paragraphs and the thesis and now we're actually going to be kind of working with our one, two, three body paragraphs. Now you might think like I, this is going to be a really long lesson, but it's not going to be any longer than either of the other ones. I'm just talking about organizing these paragraphs and how they're going to be organized. After this lesson, after this lesson we're going to go over some specific patterns of organization, but for this one I'm giving you a general ideas. Be careful and pay close attention because at the end of this lesson you are writing your very first V S E, otherwise known as the very simple essay. Now, we already know what the topic and the thesis are, and we also know what major details are, but what does that correspond to in an essay? Well, normally if you got a major detail, it's normally exactly one per each body paragraph. So, if you have three major details from your topic, you know that you're going to write exactly three paragraphs, which is, fits in perfectly with the five paragraph essay format. These minor details are going to be going over more, you already kind of know, and they support the major details, so they don't get their own paragraph, but maybe they get their own little sentence. Now, how exactly do we organize a series of three paragraphs? Now, we don't just put them in a salt shaker and then throw it out and just put them in any old order. We have to put them in an order that will make sense to the reader. And here's kind of an analogy that, I'm, that will help you understand it. Let's say that I'm telling a story about a sailor, the girl, and a mean pirate. Now what does a sailor want? Well, this sailor is tired of being a sailor and he's ready to go home and marry the girl. Can you guess what the mean pirate's going to do? Yes, he's going to be the villain. Now I want you to think about all the movies you've seen and all the books you've read and think carefully. Who do you normally see first? The supporting character, the main character, or the villain? Most books you see the hero first. So, if I was to introduce these characters in a story, I would introduce them in a certain order. That order is probably going to look like this. 